there are multiple ways to graph equations, and we're focusing on graphing linear equations. The way I'm going to present in this particular segment is by um, picking a value for x, putting that into the equation, finding out what y needs to be in order for that statement to be true, and doing that three times. You know, a linear equation is something that is straight, and two points would make a straight line, but we always find a third point as a check to be sure that we've done, um, have not made any mistakes in our arithmetic in terms of finding the first two ordered pairs. So the third one is kind of a checking point. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to graph y equals x minus 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick three values for x. I think I'll go ahead and use a negative 1, a 0, and a 1 and put each of those values in, one at a time, in here, right here in this equation for x. So my first time, I'd like to put in a negative 1 for x and then subtract 1. I'm going to do that off to the side here. So I have y equals a negative 1 minus 1, or plus a negative 1, and that adds to be a negative 2. So I found out what my y value would be when I put a negative 1 in there for x. When I put a 0 in here for x, I have 0 minus 1. Again, y is equal to 0 minus 1. And that is a negative 1. So I found my y value for that um, second uh, value for x. And now finally I'll put a 1 in here for x. And so when I do that, y equals whatever 1 minus 1 is. Well, that is 0. And I now have three ordered pairs that I can plot on the rectangular coordinate system. So the first one, x is an, a negative 1 and y is a negative 2. So there's this ordered pair. The next one, x is 0. That means I do not move in any direction on the x-axis when x is 0, but I go down a negative 1 on the y-axis. And then right here, this ordered pair says, from the origin, go 1 over in the x direction, but don't move in the y direction. So I go over 1, and my y value is equal to 0. And I may not continue using a straight edge because I'm, I'm trying to be somewhat efficient here in terms of time. But would you please try to do this? Uh, you'll be often doing this on a computer. But you would draw a straight line, and you would always put an arrowhead at the end of each of those lines. Because there's not just three ordered pairs that work in this equation, there's an infinite number of ordered pairs. So this one works, and this one works, and that one works, and that one works. All of those ordered pairs work, and so we put an arrowhead on either end to show that we know that there's an infinite number of ordered pairs that are valid for this statement. Let's do another one. Okay, let's see. How about, I'm going to move this over here, uh, y equals 2x plus 2. And I'd like to put some values in for x, and I would just like to illustrate to you that it's not necessary to always use a negative 1, 0, and 1. Although I like to do that sometimes, um, you can use any values you'd like. So if it would be easier for you to use 0, 1, and 2 for your x values, that would be just fine because often you can just say to yourself, well, 2 times 0 is nothing, and then I add 2 to it, and I get 2 for my y equals. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this down over here. y is equal to 2 times whatever x is, and x is 0 in this case, and 0 plus 2 is 2. When I put a 1 in here for x, I have y equals 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 2, which is 4. And there's the next ordered pair that works in this statement. And finally, when I put a 2 into this equation right here for x, when I put a 2 in there, I have 2 times 2, 2 times 2, which is 4, and then I add that 2, so I get 6. And now I'm ready to plot those three ordered pairs. So, again, um, the first order pair when x is 0 means I don't go anywhere. I stay put right here in the x direction, but I go up a positive 2 for y. The next order pair when x is 1, y is 4. And the next order pair when x is 2, y is 6. 
And again, you're looking to see that these ordered pairs line up in a straight line. And then if you could just connect to those values and put an arrowhead on either end, you're done graphing that equation. Let's do just a few more. Let's see, let's try y equals a negative x to graph. So this one's kind of interesting. Um, all I have to do is pick values for x, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to use some different numbers. I'm going to use a negative 2, 0, and 2. And so I want, what I want here is the opposite of whatever x is for y. Y is the opposite of whatever x is. So here, the opposite of a negative 2 is a positive 2. And the opposite of 0 is 0. 0 never has a sign. And the opposite of 2 right here is a negative 2. And that's it. So I go ahead and plot those ordered pairs. When x is a negative 2, y is 2. x is 0, y is 0. And when x is 2, y is a negative 2. And again, the three ordered pairs are in line. I'll draw a line through those and put arrowheads on each end. And I'm done graphing that linear equation. Let's take one with a fraction. So if I wish to graph um, y equals 1 third x, I'm going to be a little bit more um, tricky in choosing my values for x. First of all, I'm not going to bother with some negative numbers. It's troublesome for me. And second of all, I love zero. I try to always include zero because, you know, zero times anything is zero. Because this is a fraction and it has a denominator of three, I'm going to pick values that are multiple of three, like a three, a six, a nine, a twelve, to put in there for x because it'll make this calculation for y much simpler. Again, y is equal to one-third times whatever I've chosen x to be. So when it's zero, I get zero. And when I take one-third of three, I'm taking one-third of three, those cancel out, and I have one. And when I take one-third of six, Please, I'm, I'm multiplying by 6. I'm putting that value in for x. Keep it up high. It's in the numerator. 3 goes into here once and into here twice. And 1 times 2 is 2. It is so much easier to take multiples of the denominator so that they reduce quickly. And then go ahead and graph those ordered pairs. So the first one is exactly the origin. When x is 3, y is 1. When x is 6, y is 2. They do line up nicely. I go ahead and draw a straight line through those three ordered pairs and put arrowheads on each end, and I have a graph of the solution of that linear equation. I'm going to pause and maybe come back and do a few more, including one that is an application.